You have spoken passionately about the consequences of failure in Iraq. Your critics say you failed to send enough troops there at the start, failed to keep al-Qaeda from stepping into the, the void created by the, uh, the collapse of Saddam's army, failed to put enough pressure on Iraq's government to make the political reconciliation necessary to, to keep the sectarian violence the country is suffering from now from occurring. So mm -hmm. why should the American people feel you have the vision for victory in Iraq, sir? Um, those are all legitimate questions that historians will analyze. I mean, one of the questions is, should we have sent more in the beginning? Well, I asked that question, do you need more? To General Tommy Franks. In the first phase of this operation, General Franks, uh, you know, is obviously in charge. And uh, during our discussions and run up to uh, the decision to remove Saddam Hussein after he uh, ignored the Security Council resolutions, uh, my primary question to General Franks was Do you have what it takes to succeed? And do you have what it takes to succeed after you succeed in removing Saddam Hussein? And his answer was, Yeah. Now, history is going to look back to determine whether or not th th there might have been a different decision made. But at the time, the only thing I can tell you, Wendell, is that uh, I relied upon our military commander to make the proper decision about troop strength.